Y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I just got a notification that we will be on the Dave Ramsey show. We ended the month with money still in our account. I'll give you two 20s and a 10 for that. You know, we don't wear shirts during spring break. Take the shirt off, show me yours. So we're going on and putting 100 in there. Literally the worst thing in the world right now for me is the fact that I feel the way that I feel. Like I don't feel like myself. I feel like we actually also need just a general It means Agreed. more for us to do this because of what it's doing for y'all. Right. So you're gonna give me the money? We could pay some major bills if this is really thinking about believe it. Just send it in. Let's do it. Well, I'm back to the vlog cast talking points on a thing. Today we are discussing our March budget. I'm pulling you off. <laughs> Thank You're you. Hot. Coming in hot with the budget here for March. This is our second official, I mean we've had a million budget meetings I feel like in between now and then, but our second official monthly budget planning meeting. Colin hates them. I love them. I'm Katie. This is Colin. <sighs> hey. I'm the nerd and I absolutely like love balancing the budget. I think that's, that's why I've been so sad over the past couple of years because I wasn't balancing anything. This, I wasn't is balancing. this is my life right here. Don't! <laughs> Colin's a free spirit. He just likes to spend the money and not have to think about it. So uh, in February, we showed y'all our like whole budgeting process. Oh, y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I just got a notification that we will be on the Dave Ramsey show. Yay! That's tomorrow. Yeah. So we're gonna call in. Which Actually, one? they're calling us. It's a scheduled call. Oh, snap. Uh, I will Shoot. be calling you so you don't have to try to get through on our phone lines. Nice. Which one of y'all will I be speaking with? Oh, shoot, only one of us can talk? Well, we'll be on speakerphone, maybe. I don't know. I think she's implying that she don't want a bunch of people trying to talk all at once. That's true. Maybe they've like watched that. our videos and been like, <laughs> y'all need to simmer down. That's crazy. So y'all tune in tomorrow when That's we're on gonna the be Dave cool. Ramsey show at 1 p.m. Central. Awesome. That's crazy. That's I'm nervous now. You can talk to that. I am nervous. I feel like you're going to have to be sitting here with me. I'll be sitting here. Well, and if y'all missed, <laughs> if y'all missed, what was it, Friday's or is Thursday's video where we asked y'all the question of like, what should we do as far as our house being on the market, putting more money into it, the amount we owe, what all we need to sell it for is the question that we want to ask Dave. He is like super real estate savvy on top of all of obviously the money stuff. So that's definitely something that I was like, of all the questions we have, I feel like that's a good one to ask Yeah, him. and just to clarify even further, yeah, it says make sure you're using a headset or speaker and make sure it's quiet where you are. Lock them dogs up. So it looks like it's going to be just one of us. Whew. Okay. Maybe we can plug in a headset and I can have one ear in. We can both have, yeah, our AirPods, which I'd be afraid those would like go out. Like watch us get on there and my phone's gonna die and we're gonna lose reception. Uh, anyway. Okay, on. That's anyways. Fun. Woo, that's exciting. Sorry, we had the hardest time staying on topic. That was still on topic. That was on topic. It definitely <laughs> was. It just happened to pop up and it was a squirrel moment. Like your notifications got you. So that's exciting. Okay, y'all stay tuned for that. However, where even was I? Last month was the first time we sat down and really did a budget and kind of estimated for the first time. We, we did envelopes and budgeting and cash spending and all that back at the very beginning of our marriage. Totally different situation, no kids, renting, no mortgage payment, all that stuff. This has been an interesting month. I think it actually went well. Yeah. This is the first month that we ended the month with money still in our account. Our account. We were not like scraping until payday and all of that stuff. So balancing the budget has been great. It's been super awesome knowing that the bills are going to go through and everything will be fine. We are going to tell y'all what we had left in our envelopes from last month. So as we go through, I'll kind of tell you what we're going to put in there for this month and what we have left over from last month. Mm -hmm. so last month, we starting out with groceries. We over budgeted on groceries last time on purpose because we just hadn't done a grocery budget. So we really had no idea. We budgeted $800. We ended up um, using grocery money to do things like for the pets, like cat litter and dog food. Also for like kid expenses, which I think will still come out of groceries like pull-ups and laundry detergent and household stuff. So we definitely, I think, could have done a little bit less just on groceries, but we ended up coming in at about like $650, $700 probably that we spent on groceries. And we're challenging ourselves to cut that down even more this month. Because we did buy the pull-ups and the laundry, like the right. big items that will last several months. If you remember, we got a bunch of 
gift cards from cashing in our rewards points on our credit card that we're no longer going to be using. So I'm giving myself $200 to spend at Aldi because even though we have these Walmart gift cards, it kills me to go in Walmart and buy all the groceries that I could buy for way less at Aldi. So I like to save those gift cards for the things that we prefer to get Would you like that in at Walmart. 100s, 5s, 10s, or 20s? Um, two 100s is great. That way, okay. I won't want to. I won't want to break them, and I'll know this is all I've got to spend at Aldi. I just take okay. this one bill. Okay. So we still have to go by the bank and get the actual cash. Yes, we have so to get the actual cash out because we just this did this. We're using this um, temporarily. I gave us three hundred dollars in Walmart gift cards, and again, I'm gonna try to like do pets and kids and all that stuff on there too. So this month, five hundred for groceries versus eight hundred last month. We're trying to really cut it down this time. I'll give you two more quarters just to put in there for uh, tax. I just like playing with the fake money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the next thing on the list is restaurants. And last month we had put a total of $50 in there for eating out and we had $13 left. So that was due to y'all had a daddy daughter date night with the like church dance thing and then Brooks and I had a mommy son date night and then that's just kind of a special thing that we do every February. We got Little Caesars one night. Mm -hmm. So we really didn't eat out much at all this month. We're gonna go ahead and put $50 in restaurants again because it's almost gonna be. I'll give you two 20s and a 10 for that so we can Thank split you. it up like that 20 should be good for one night, you know? There you go. It's almost gonna be like a, kind of like a sinking fund. Like I don't wanna just say, let's keep it balanced at 50 for every month. I wanna kinda add more because we mentioned before that sometimes there'll be like somebody's birthday dinner pops up or some one of your friends has like some lunch for their going away party or something and you end up needing some money for that, which is why we have a no snap fund, but I just wanna kind of add a little bit to it. So basically we're adding 50. So we'll have a total of 63 in there. Um, this month is also spring break for our kids and we are not planning to go anywhere at this point. Spring break 2020, we should add two more 20s to that. <laughs> but I imagine we might wanna like do a dinner out, you know, something cheap. I'm talking dinner out like $5 from Little Caesars. Yeah. Our fun money, which is covers like, we discussed this before, whether you put alcohol in the like grocery budget or in the fun category, I say it goes in the fun category. So considering it's spring break, considering, you know, having a little extra glass of wine or a little cocktail on the weekends, we're putting $80 in our fun money. So 40 for each of the two week periods. There we go. We're gonna put that back in there. I think we ended up with like five left in there at the end of this month. So we probably be turning up the heat a little that. bit because you know we don't wear shirts during spring break. Take the shirt off, show me your What's that have to do with fun money? It's fun. You're gonna pay extra money. Spring break 2020. Okay. All right, eighty dollars sure. for that. Our beauty envelope still has twenty in it. Cullen only used five dollars because he used a gift card for a haircut and used five dollar tip. We're gonna go ahead and put twenty in there again this month instead of twenty five, just to kind of add it up. School extras, we put 30 in there last month and ended up not having to spend any of that. So that's for like when all of a sudden a field trip pops up or a teacher needs $2.50 for this pizza party or whatever. So we're not adding anything to that this month. It's gonna stay at 30. I think that's a good like a goal for that envelope. And if we use it up or use some of it, then we will replenish that come the next month. Pet care. So it's coming up on the season when they are going to need like flea treatments. It gets hot here very soon. That's an important thing for their health. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do food and litter and stuff mm -hmm. with the groceries. So we're putting $100 in the pet envelope right now. They're all about to need checkups too, and there's four of them. We're just putting 100 in there for now. We shouldn't need to spend that whole 100 this month, but it's kind of gonna be like a, an envelope that needs to probably get up to about $500. So we're going on and putting 100 in there. Got it. Thank you. Miscellaneous, which is our oh snap category. This is for anything we might happen to forget. Toiletries, those types of things. We have seven in there. So we budgeted last month 30 for that. End up with seven left. We're going ahead and putting a whole 30 in there again. Whole so 30. 37. We'll go in here. So I need 30 for that. Okay. Please. 30. 30. 20 here. 20. And then 10 right and a here. 10. Mm -hmm. All right. And then our medication or vitamins, basically health, prescription, whatever category, that one for this month, 
Um, Y'all talked to us about good RX last month. That's for the 30. Well, I need 20. Did you already give me a 20? I gave you a 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Are you trying to <laughs> cheat me out of this now? Okay. So last month we talked about GoodRx and we actually dot com and they they do have some good deals on there, but for the medications that we were looking at, it ended up not being too much cheaper. We did get a discount coupon from like a manufacturer website, so that was helpful. So we're putting $130 in that envelope. We each have about like $30 for the month. And then I am actually, this was a discussion previously, I'm gonna be going back to my hormone person, but I found a different location. I'm switching providers because this new location does take insurance. Had I gone back to the people I was seeing previously, it would have been like $900 this month. And that's not an option right now. So I was like, what are we gonna do? Because I'm, it's, affecting me mentally to not have this stuff balanced right now, which is in turn affecting the entire family. So that was kind of a necessity for this month. You can balance your bank account, but you still gotta balance your brain too. Yeah, and your hormones. 130? Right. So 130 covers, I think covers that. This will be a little bit of a learning curve. Hopefully that's gonna get everything covered. And then I've got the cost of the doctor visit to see that provider. I'm not exactly sure what my copay is. I think it's 45, but it's gonna be a copay for the doctor visit. And so we're putting 50 in the doctor category. Do you need 50? Yeah, Oh. I need 50. That wasn't included in the 130. No, it wasn't. That Woo! was for your prescription, my prescription, and then what I think I'm gonna be getting instead of doing the testosterone pellet is the cream. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, there's a playlist on my channel. You can go watch what I'm talking about. All right. 50 there's, there's for that. Doug. He is the husband of Melissa. Melissa and Doug on that crisp $50 bill. I was like, they have a guy named Doug on here? <laughs> no, Doug's the president. <laughs> and then we had talked about, we also got gift cards from, whatchamacallit? the credit card rewards or whatever and with those we got gas cards and we talked about how the shell station that is actually closer to us than walmart with the like rewards discount ends up usually being about the same price so we have shell gift cards last month we budgeted 200 dollars for gasoline and we did not use it all up mm -mm. we're going ahead and putting 200 dollars worth of the gift cards in here for this month because like i said it is spring break i don't think we're going anywhere but we're just going to put 200 dollars for march amazingly now we have 200 dollars for april and 200 dollars for may so what we'll do is we'll just roll over if there's any left on the card we'll roll it over to the next month and just put that gas card in there. So it'll be nice that it's like on there. You don't uh -huh. have to keep up with the money or anything like that. Uh -huh. It'll be in there. So there's those envelopes. And what we'll actually do, I've got them all in one, but we'll put one, two of them in one card, two of them in another card, whatever. I went ahead and put the remaining Walmart gift cards in an envelope for April groceries so that we don't just spend those and like it's not sitting here and we're like, oh, we got a Walmart gift card we can use. Like it's accounted for and put somewhere else. Um, if you remember, we also got Amazon gift cards. Those are kind of staying to the side as like an emergency fund right now mm -hmm. um, for your fish tank stuff. I used uh, one of them for some fish tank salt. You needed salt and something else. Mm -hmm. You get something else. Some, some fish, uh, food, creel. fish, creel, creel, freeze dried creel. Mm -hmm. Yum, um, yum. Yes. So, Smells up the house. So there's that. That's what we're getting in our envelopes this month. So what's the total? Let me just calculate what this total real quick. Uh, I like being the banker. Does this make it more fun for you? Yeah, I feel like I'm on this deal or no deal. And then you call the banker and I'll, just, I'll work out a deal with you or something. And there's a spot for half dollars in here. Who ever uses, uses half dollars anymore? Apparently our kids, because they're nowhere to be found. 790, which is crazy because last month we got out 1260. I'm like, shoot, what are we forgetting? We're not, we're cutting down $300 yeah, on our groceries. That's true, we're cutting $300 on we're our groceries. We're cutting uh, 200 out of the gas because we have it on the gift cards. Oh uh, yeah, well we didn't take that out last time because it was we bought gift cards for it. So it wasn't like cash that I got out. Uh, I think it ends up adding up. And then we didn't put anything into like the kid school the fund or whatever. Yeah. And then we cut, yeah. So I think, I mean, it kind of adds up, but it's just, good that we've got that extra money left over so we're going to end up with about eight hundred dollars left to and the amount that we were working with on like i said we had eight hundred dollars left that takes into account that we put both of our paychecks at the top of the month took out all the bills all the minimum payments on the credit cards that we need to pay and then what's left over to put towards the snowball at the end of the month is 
$866 based on the every dollar app is what I was using here to kind of like budget through this. I think we'd mentioned before, we did have an IRS bill that was totally intentional, unintentional. We're super duper like pay our IRS bill when it's supposed to be paid. And we explained all this before, but it was one that got like the notice that we owed money in the middle of moving to this house and the IRS doesn't forward things or didn't get forwarded for whatever reason. And so we had no idea we owed this and it was from 2016. Mm -hmm. Like we've filed taxes since then and for whatever reason it didn't get calculated in that. So we owe $2,816 to the IRS. So it really sucks because we could knock out like <gasps> one and a half of our bottom snowballs but we're gonna have to put this money towards the IRS bill because they don't play. We've heard you just go on and get that done. What I'm gonna do is actually call them and talk about like, do I do a payment plan? Is that the best option? I mean, I don't think it's a wise idea just to like send them $800 and not tell them when I'm gonna pay them the rest of the 2000. Right, because then, you know? yeah, like we said, they might think that you were sending them $800, send $800 and, then and then they'll still like put a lien on your property and stuff versus so. like communicating with them. But then what, Thought about Dave Ramsey saying something about like you don't want them to have direct access to your bank account because then they might drain you right then and there or try to mm -hmm. and or interest rates and stuff might be super high if you don't I don't know we need to look into it for right now that's what the extra remaining money left over see and this is hard though because I'm like I feel like though we need to take at least a little bit whether it's just ten dollars and put it in, start the Christmas envelope, start the Brooks birthday envelope, start the Gaines birthday. So Which, should we by actually the way, you have a birthday coming up this weekend. Yes. And I'm like, where's your birthday envelope? My birthday envelope is that I get to go back to this hormone person and get my testosterone balance uh. back out because literally the worst thing in the world right now for me is the fact that I feel the way that I feel. Like I don't feel like myself. And, and my love language of acts of service and gift giving hurts you hearing you say that because mm -hmm. I love to go just like buy gifts and spend okay. money frivolously. It's fun. It's like when I got to go buy val Valentine stuff for the kids. It makes you happy to be able to buy something for somebody that you know they're going to enjoy but it's not forever and that's part right. of being the being on this whole thing is like you live like nobody else right now and don't mm -hmm. buy birthday presents so that in a couple of years we can budget it better and and you do have an old gift card for a massage that oh that's what my other gift yeah. is going to be you but bought see, me it that it doesn't feel i don't know it feels fine to me honestly the fact that i'm getting to go and have this doctor's appointment and i didn't think i was going to be able to go because it was going to be 900 dollars, and now it's going to be 55 plus the co-pay so maybe like 100 versus 900 like it's worth it for me for my mental and physical health. So Hopefully it works. I know. I know that seems sucky for you though. I mean, I don't know. If you want twenty dollars to go buy me like, you know, something you can have that. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want you to feel like you have to though. Like it's not gonna hurt my feelings either way. I don't think I bought you anything for your birthday, did did I? Because we didn't have any money. I bought these old cloud shoes. Oh yeah, you did buy those. But I went and picked them out. Swiped $130 yeah, on the car. Yeah, I wasn't able to. No, we didn't have. Oh, and we got a babysitter and went out to dinner at Dave & Buster's. I was like, we didn't have any money. Well, how did we, <sighs> why, we didn't do anything, but we totally did. We're but I'm not saying idiots. that we should do that for me because it really is fine. It would actually be more hurtful to me to like spend $100 on dinner oh, when yeah, yeah. we it could pay it towards debt. I'm like, yeah. no, not right now. We do have some gift cards though. We could still go to dinner. That's true. Oh man. Okay, well if we've got enough money in the grocery budget that you could buy a box of cake mix and some um, icing. You can make me some cakes. I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. I've never heard that really. You just want to say that. I just wanted nickel. to say that. <laughs> what if we put 800 towards something and then take the 66 and put it in? That's birthday. a good idea. 20, 40, 60. Put one in Christmas, one in Gaines, one in Brooks. Okay. And then put that 800 good. towards IRS. Yeah, that sounds good. 20 Gaines and 20 Brooks. All right, I'll get you that money right here. And I feel like, I feel like we actually also need just a general. I feel like we need just a general birthday envelope for like other people. So should we do another 20 for that? No, because then that cuts into the 800. Okay. I like to, to keep so it So everybody good. else's birthday is just going to have to wait. Yeah, okay. we'll find That's something fine. around the house. We got okay. gifts laying around That's here true. from old stuff all <laughs> over the place. If y'all get a reused barrette, then happy birthday. I do want to say like thank y'all, like the value. It seems like we're giving, we're giving all this information 
out in the world is in turn received well from y'all in the comments. Like hearing all these comments about how y'all are like, your eyes are open to the whole amount of spending you're doing in your in your relationships and families. And mm -hmm. like, it's it's valuable for us to hear those comments. And that's amazing. Like it yeah. means more. I don't know. You know, is that weird? No. You know it, what I mean? No, I totally It means agree. more for us to do this because of what it's doing for y'all. Right. And that's just super amazing. And it's great too, because it motivates us more to even like, stay on track and to make it this organized, I feel like this is such a hot mess. Like this was, was and still kind of is such a hot mess to start with that like, had we not had to organize it to present it to an audience, mm -hmm. it would have still been somewhat of a hot mess. Like mm -hmm. we would have gotten it all together, but in order to, it's like you have to clean it up even more to make it make right. sense to everybody else. We're all learning so. together. Like we would have never known to cash in our 130,000. Yes. Scott Miles. Oh, or... and the freaking awesome people that I had um, somebody write me and say they work at an eye doctor's office and I was saying how I wasn't able to get contacts or was choosing not to get contacts. Kind of like that whole like we don't have money or is it not in the budget. Didn't want to spend the extra money on getting new contacts and she was like, oh, we have extra samples all the time. What's your prescription? And I was like, no, 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 you're not gonna do that. She was like, we literally have extra samples that we that I can just like send you a sample. And so she sent me a sample of contacts. Like it's amazing. I was really I was really I mean that's just crazy. Like I really appreciate it. And it's just those types of little blessings that we really appreciate. Um like we said, we are continuing to tithe during paying off this debt and that's our choice and that's what we're doing and it's one of those things where we keep turning around and being like, "Oh snap, this was yeah. one of our income that came into mm -hmm. our business account ended up being seventeen hundred dollars more than we expected it to be. Oh, this past yeah, paycheck, yeah, this yeah. past paycheck. It's crazy. Um, it was it was crazy. We were I was like, wait, why is it so much more? And then I looked, and it was something to do with our network and ads they had had on our videos mm -hmm. versus just the YouTube income and whatever else. And so I was like, holy crap! Like surprise. learning about all these new apps, the Honey app, which is one that automatically shows you coupons. It's an extension on Chrome. Did oh, you see that? No, I In the last comment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to download that because it automatically gives you coupon codes for stuff. And then like the other apps, the debt free chart, like everything's just like, we, we're we helping each other and it's, yes. it's amazing. We so appreciate all of y'all. All the love and support. Input, support, love and all of that. And we just hope that it's been valuable to you. Not it's been, I mean, we're not ending this. We're continuing, don't worry. So um, yeah, we'll let y'all know how it goes throughout this month. We're gonna get our money out and put actual money in our envelopes and not just this. March is stuffed. And it feels really good knowing that everything is accounted for and like there's not gonna be, or there shouldn't be any panic in the middle of the month of like, right. oh my gosh, crap. The account. Crap, we gotta get merch going. That's the next thing. I keep saying that every week. Somebody said something about how I should make some merch for the fellow nerds who like love to do the budget stuff. Yeah. Something says like nerd with some like. Yeah. That might go well. We could, you can wear that one and I'll wear the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm and stuff. Get it more up in the rankings and all that. And comments, likes. Likes, comments, watch subscribe. Watch the whole video. Notification boring, bell. You know. Follow us on all the socials because I usually post a teaser on my Instagram before it goes live. And, uh, yes, you can get some little behind the scenes. And we, if those of y'all that are missing the kids, we do post more um, kid footage on our Instagram stories yeah. and stuff. So we do plan to do some like legit vlogs at yeah. some point. And too. that might make sense some other stuff. We got some footage from Daddy Daughter Dance and other fun stuff. So coming up this week, be stay sure tuned. To like it, stay tuned for tomorrow when we call Dave Ramsey. That's gonna be fun. Ah! We'll see you on TFS. Good time. Bye. Bye.